Hi, welcome to my channel. This is day four of our August Yoga Challenge Yogi Coffee. If you're new, check out the previous classes. We already been going for two weeks. If you was practicing with me before, welcome back. Today we're going to have a very different practice. It's going to be a preparation for the meditation, pranayama, or breathing technique, and meditation itself. Especially if you're practicing in the morning, this practice is going to be great if you know that the day ahead is going to be full of the mentally and emotionally uh, challenging situations. So by this practice, you're going to establish this inner support, which is going to guide you for the day. You might want to use a bolster, maybe blanket. I have a meditation pillow. If you don't have one of those, those great. You should <laughs> purchase one if you have a chance. They're very comfortable to sit on. But if sitting on the floor doesn't work for you at all, you can always lean back onto the wall as a variation or even sit on the chair whenever we will be going into the breathing practice or meditation practice. If you're sitting on the chair, make sure your spine is straight so you're not leaning back as we used to in the comfortable soft couch, but you're keeping yourself straight with your feet planted on the floor. We're going to begin by the very easy and um, uh, exercises which will help you to prepare the hips and spine for the seated pose. So let's come in the position with the legs extended in front of you. You can keep your palms behind you, Dandasana. Press your palms behind your spine with your chest slightly forward. If your hamstring bother you, you can slightly bend your knees. Draw your shoulder blades back and down, lift your chin slightly above your chest. Take a few breaths here. Throughout this short practice, we're going to breathe only for the nostrils. The easy breath, no need to apply any technique right now. And just kind of doing this inner landscaping, noticing if it's morning, what physical sensations are present this morning, how your breath happening. On all levels, even how you feel yourself emotionally, what's on your mind. Is it empty or it's already so many thoughts in there? Whatever is present, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Just acknowledge what did you bring in the practice today. Take a couple of more breaths in and out through the nostrils. And with the next inhale, open your eyes. Look at your feet. I'm going to inhale and point the feet forward. Exhale, flex your feet, push your heels away. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Keep going. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Come to the neutral, lift your right leg slightly up. You can bend your knees and start circling, feeling the arch of the foot, even the spaces in between your toes. And reverse. Place it down, change, lift your left leg and circle. And starting awaken the body from the extremities up to the center. Reverse. And place your heel down. Now keep your palms back behind you so you have some support for your spine. And start to draw your right foot along the inner side of your left leg. And then extend it forward. And then left foot up. And away. Keep going with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. 
Each time when you're drawing it up, try to then send your knee down towards the floor and then extend. Inhale, exhale. Just link the breath and the movement. Doesn't matter how fast or how slow you're moving. If the breath linked to your movement, that's what made make the practice the kind of a moving meditation, the dynamic meditation. And the movement perhaps will be evolving, so each time you might can bring the knee closer towards the floor. And extend the both legs. Shake it out, and we're going to take the right ankle up on the left thigh, hold on to your knee, and start circling your knee. So the movement comes from the hip, few times one direction and few times opposite direction. Extend and change. Take your foot, take your knee and circle. And reverse. Extend it forward, shake, and we're going to come into the cross-legged pose, Sukhasana. Bring your right shin in front of your left. You can sit on the thinly folded blanket, don't sit too high. Sit on the both seat bones, let your palms rest on your knees. Close your eyes, and I want you to imagine that you're pushing yourself away from the floor with your seat bones. You're really pressing yourself away. And as soon as you start to press, your core starts to slowly engage. Core not only as your abdomen, but also your hips and low back. Everything engaging so that would create this nice support for your spine. Relax your shoulders. Let your head be perfectly balanced on your neck. Relax your face as well. With inhale, open your eyes and touch the floor around you with your fingertips. Inhale, reach your right arm up, your right palm facing to the side. Feel the expansion in your right lung. Inhale. Exhale, release, touch the floor. Inhale, big, hold your breath for a second there on the top. Exhale, lower down. Keep moving, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale. Now turn your palm facing towards you and start walking your left palm away for the side stretch. Go as far as you can go without lifting your right seat bones too high away from the floor. Press your right seat bone down. Breathe into your right side, feel this movement as you're breathing in between your ribs. These intercostal muscles expand as you inhale, contract slightly as you exhale. Inhale back in the center, pull your head all the way towards your right shoulder. Your left palm stay in touch with the floor, so you create this long, Line through the whole left side. And again, relaxing the face, forehead and eyes and jaw. Exhale, chin down to the chest. Inhale, lift your chin slightly. Going to do the same on the opposite side. Now reach your left arm up, your palm facing to the side. Exhale, bring it down. Keep going with your breath. Inhale on the top. Hold it for a second. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Now turn your palm towards you. Walk your right palm to the side. Go for the side stretch. Breathe. Yeah.
inhale back in the center push your head all the way to your left shoulder now your neck muscles is not involved in this movement just by pressure through your hand you get this elongation for the whole right side and exhale chin down to the chest inhale lift your chin into the neutral position now both arms go up palms face into the side reach up hold it on the top for a second exhale lower down inhale reach up exhale lower down one more time inhale reach up and this time exhale move your arms in front of you the palms face into the sides now the tricky movement you might want to take a look on it so place your right in, um, right wrist on the top of your left interlace your fingers inhale and start move your arms towards yourself and away keep moving inhale exhale inhale and exhale just a couple of more and next time you're extending change interlace and move again don't force yourself too deep into those poses especially if it's morning just see how far you can go so again we're not trying to go through the pain but slight discomfort is okay inhale and exhale shake it out look in front of you we're going to walk the palms forward and then walk all the way forward as far as you can go spine is round head is heavy with each exhale sinking deeper even if you go just slightly forward that's completely fine stay at your limit and just continue breathing perhaps directing your breath into those spaces which feels especially tight this morning inhale walk yourself all the way up and change position of your shins now another shin in front hold on to your shins moving through the cat cow so as you inhale slide your shoulder blades back chin up look up exhale round your spine keep moving inhale look up exhale around continue moving and as you're moving for these two positions make sure you still have this base for the both seat bones down into the floor and as your upper body movement moving let your chest lead this movement so each time your heart goes forward with the inhale and then the space in between your shoulder blades go back so the space between the shoulder blades constantly changing when you're moving forward they're sliding towards each other and down and when you're moving back the shoulder blades sliding away from each other if you feel stable you can close your eyes and just notice those sensations arising in your spine the spine muscles if you feel a little wobbly or you feel a little dizzy this morning keep your eyes open keep your face relaxed inhale come in the center let your palms rest on your knees close your eyes for a few moments and open your eyes you're going to keep holding the knees but this time your chest will be circling around so imagine there is a line right in front of you and you're going to circle your chest around this line again the both seat bones stays on the floor you're moving forward with your heart forward and then starting to circle and again you're welcome to close your eyes just making sure you're closing your eyes but still keeping your attention on the movement let your breath be at ease and reverse same movement opposite rotation
Inhale back in the center. And exhale, open your eyes if they were closed. Palms in front of you. And let's walk forward again. Different sides can feel differently. So allow yourself to go as far as your body. And go to the limit. Slight discomfort, pulling, aching, it's okay. But no pain, no sharp pain, neither in the ankles nor in the knees. And inhale, slowly walk yourself all the way up. And we're ready to set up our position for the breath, pranayama and meditation. So if you're moving onto the chair, go ahead. You can pause this video and come sit in a comfortable position. I'm going to sit on my cushion. You can sit also, as I said, on the blanket or something what will elevate you. So throughout the practice, I want you to, especially the breathing exercise, I want you to pay attention on the position of your spine. So you don't want to allow your shoulders to roll forward, to keep uh, yourself in an upright position to help you to breathe fully. The pranayama or breathing exercise we're going to do today called samaveta. And this pranayama is uh, very good for the start. If you never was practicing breathing techniques, that's a really nice uh, technique, really nice practice to begin with. Samaveta means together. So we're breathing through the both nostrils, which um, sounds obvious because that's how we breathe. But in fact, in the pranayama um, practices or techniques, we're usually um, alternating the nostrils or breathing only through one side or through another side. But in this pranayama, we're going to breathe through the both nostrils. Now we're trying to do um, our inhale and exhale equally. So let's say you count till five as you're inhaling and count till five as you're exhaling. So you're making this very mm, circular breath, inhalation flowing to ex exhalation and vice versa. But I invite you to use the metronome today. We will start with my voice guiding you and counting for you. And then I will be quiet. And then you'll hear the, this little tapping of the metronome. So you will be able to count for yourself. And we begin with counting till five, five inhale and five exhale. But if you notice that it's too long for you, we can go to the four or maybe even to the three. If you notice that it's too short for you, by all means, go to the six or seven or however your breath is happening today. The main thing is that you're not struggling for this practice. The breath happening a very easy and uh, you trying to keep it equal and of course we are aiming for the elongation of the breath but again it has to happen naturally with the practice you don't want to force yourself and if you're starting to force yourself you will find that breath becoming very shallow heavy or kind of becoming very um, sharp right so you just maybe holding your breath and then continue breathing and everything just becoming a big mess so let's start together, starting with my voice, and then just find your own pace. And we'll be staying here for about um, three to five minutes. Let your palms rest on your knees and relax your shoulders. Find a comfortable position for your spine and close your eyes. Relax your face. Relax your belly. Allow any movements in the belly, in the chest, in the throat, during their breath. Concentrate on the space inside of your nostrils. Start noticing the movement of the air comes into the nostrils and coming out of your nostrils. If you want to take a deeper inhalation one time, you're welcome to do so. And complete the exhalation.
Continue concentrating in the space inside of your nostrils. Do complete exhale. And start inhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Now continue on your own. Listen to the sound of the metronome. Find your own pace, your own length. If your mind wanders, don't judge yourself. Just acknowledge it. And then be back to the counting your breath for the next few minutes.
And with the next inhale, keep your eyes closed, but come back to your neutral breath. Allow your breath flow easily, no need to count anymore. Moving into the meditation practice. And today in the meditation practice, we're paying more attention to our body. Start with feeling the shape of the body. The points of connection between the body and the seat, the floor or the chair. Feel the air touching your skin. We begin with a body scan. That will be naming you the different parts of your body. All what you need is simply follow my voice and move your attention from one part of your body to another. We begin with the crown, forehead, eyes, the space in between the eyebrows, cheeks, the space inside of your nostrils, feel your lips, and the space inside of your mouth, feel your neck throat, collarbones, feel your right shoulder, right elbow, right forearm, right wrist, the center of your right palm and the fingers, all the way to the fingertips, feel your right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder, and right shoulder blade. Feel your collarbones. Feel your left shoulder, left elbow, left forearm, left wrist, the center of your left palm, fingers, all the way to the fingertips. Feel the left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder and the left shoulder blade. Feel your lungs and the heart center, the space inside of your abdomen. Feel your hips, the seat bones. Feel your right hip, right thigh, right knee, right shin right ankle, the center of your right foot, toes, all the way to the tips of your toes, right ankle, right calf muscles, right hamstrings, right hip, and the seat bones. Feel the left hip, left thigh, left knee, left shin, left ankle, the center of your left foot, your toes all the way to the tips of your toes, left ankle, left calf muscles, left hamstrings, left hip, and the seat bone. Move your attention all the way up along your spine to the low back, mid back, upper back. Feel the back of your neck, the back of your head, and your crown. Be still in your body. Allow the breath to flow freely 
through the body. The mind has nature to wander. And no matter how many thoughts coming in and passing by, try to not get involved with them. Don't try to stop them or suppress them. See if you can neutrally watch them. Imagine them being clouds on the sky. Imagine yourself just enjoying this view in front of your eyes. How those clouds are just passing by. Whenever your mind wanders about one of those clouds, trying to create the description or attach any emotion, just bring, bring it back to your breath. Simply notice again this air flowing in and out of your nostrils. That would bring you in the present moment. And once you're there again, continue watching those clouds. Continue watching those thoughts. Knowing that there is infinite sky behind them. Always there. Never changing. Always there for you. Always there within you, the clear sky.
Take a deeper inhalation. Complete exhalation. Keep your eyes closed, but slowly stand, bring your attention back to the physical sensations, Feel the weight of the body, perhaps visualize the room you're staying in. Bringing yourself back, transitioning from the practice into your day. Bring your palms together to your heart center. And slowly blink your eyes to open. So thank you for practicing with me today. You can take your time. After this video, don't rush into your day after this practice. If you're interested in the continuous studying meditation, I have a little exercise for you to do throughout the day. Whenever you have time, whenever you actually remember about this um, exercise, try to make a pause, whatever you're doing, and just feel what are those sensations, physical sensations, present in the body. Maybe do the quick body scan as we just did at the beginning of this meditation. No matter what you do, driving, staying in the line, talking with someone, you don't need to close your eyes for that. All you need is just turn your awareness inwards. That will help you to exercise your focus, your concentration, and help you to maybe know a little bit more about yourself and about your body. So thank you again for practicing with me today. I'm looking forward for the next week to continue our yoga challenge.